Hi everyone! Welcome back to part 2 of the kitchen renovation series. Today is super exciting because I'll be taking you along with me to our local kitchen renovation center to pick up our kitchen countertop, flooring, and sink. It's going to be a huge transformation, so stay tuned until the end for the big reveal. With that being said, let's begin. As a quick recap, this is what our kitchen looked like when we first moved into our place. The fluorescent ceiling lights, brick red floors, and the tile countertops made the kitchen cool toned and a bit uninviting. So let's change that by replacing them with warm toned pieces. Before we go on our shopping adventure, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future DIY and home improvement videos. Okay, let's drive over. My goodness, super hot today. Another day in sunny California where it says it's 87 degrees, but it feels like it's 110. And we are here. This place had a wide selection of countertops, including marble, quartz, and also granite. So I'm looking for more of like a quartz design with maybe a little bit of warm tone in it to pull together all the warm tone of the cabin. Some of these are so pretty. They have a lot of different types of material, including granite. Um, but in my personal opinion, for the newer houses I've seen, I haven't really seen people use granite a lot. I'm more of a marble and quartz girl. I think granite is a little bit outdated, but again, this is my personal opinion. Feel free to add this into your kitchen if you like it. I still think it's really beautiful because it is a natural stone material. I'm also looking for quartz material because quartz has a similar texture as marble, but it is a little bit more easier maintenance. It's not not as poor so it's harder to get stained. This one's super pretty. It almost has like a translucent texture to it. If you're interested it's called that. Okay I'm super excited because I think I found the countertop that I really want. The reason why I really like this one is because it has subtle beige accents to it so it will make the whole place look really cohesive because it brings together the uh, warm tone colors of the cabinet. It's not as intense as this one right here, which is a little too dark for my liking. I don't want the quartz to take away from the overall look. I just want it to blend in into the background. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of people in here right now, so luckily I have the whole place to myself. <laughs> now that we picked the kitchen counter, I want to also look at the flooring. For the flooring, I think I'm looking for something that's a little bit more warm toned, just because I'm going for like a Japan-y, wabi-sabi look. It looks like, let me get over it there first. Oh my god, shoes. I feel like I'm like a five-year-old with those like squishy shoes. Anyway, um, as I was saying, in my personal opinion, I think gray tone wood is now a little bit outdated. It was really popular, especially during the early 2010s, 2015s. It was a very nice neutral and matched with a lot of silver tones, white tones. I think because all these new builds were using this type of color, it got a little overused. But again, if you like the color, definitely integrate it into your interior design. It seems like they have two different types of wood. They have something called SPC. It's a luxury vinyl. I don't believe it's real wood. I think it's supposed to mimic the look of real wood. And then they have something called engineered wood. I don't really know the difference of it, but just by textural feel, it feels more like real wood. Actually here, we have sample boards. And I think it's just thin pieces of wood pressurized together to create this. And by the looks of it, a lot of them are a little bit more expensive than the luxury vinyl. Let me grab a sample of the luxury vinyl just to see what the material is made out of. Here's one. It's significantly thinner. It's almost like a vinyl, which is what the name suggests. And it has like a foam board in the bottom, most likely for insulation and also waterproofing. They made wood grain texture on top to make it look like it's wood. This is luxury vinyl and this is the engineered wood. The engineered wood is definitely a lot thicker. It almost looks like a plywood. So maybe that's why it's almost double the price. I don't know the performance difference, but this is what I'm going for, luxury vinyl. I totally missed one of the materials called laminate. Again, I am no expert when it comes to the different materials but just by textural feel it almost looks like it's printed on particle board with like a really thin piece of laminate or vinyl I, would, I don't know what you call this right on top of it so i can totally see this getting scratched really easily yeah you can actually see the sides here i personally wouldn't go for this one you know it depends on your price point and your budget i don't want to worry about a lot of scratches on the floor so came to a verdict I have a couple of different ones that I really like. This one is called Lake Orla. Cool. While we're here, let's look at the sinks. 
Okay guys, I found the sinks. This is a double sink. The original sink that we have is also a double sink. The middle part here, it's wasting space, so I don't think I'm gonna get a double sink. What I'm looking for is closer to here. This is an overmount. I don't think I'm gonna go for an overmount because a lot of times when I'm cooking, I do wanna sweep it and just keep the counter really clean. With an overmount, I'm not able to do that. It gets stuck right here. I really, really want undermount sink. This one right here is perfect. After I'm done cooking, I can just sweep it all in and here it is super clean the last thing i want is a sample of the quartz counter so that i can actually see what it looks like in our place okay so i got the samples that i need so let's head back home it's, it's super hot today my makeup is sweating off right now but i'm so glad that we found the countertops and the flooring for the kitchen renovation the countertop that i picked is a quartz material it has the white on it it also has gray veining that kind of makes it look like it's marble the beige veining is going to bring together the kitchen cabinet that we refinished last week so go check out the video in the link up above here somewhere i'm super proud of it i think you guys will love it too now that we have the countertops the flooring picked out the contractors will be coming over to install them i am also going to be replacing some of the lighting i actually bought a lot of those puck lights from amazon swear to god jeff bezos you owe me so much money I need to be sponsored or something, Jesus. And as always, all the materials that I've used will be linked in the description down below. For the kitchen counter and flooring, it's a little difficult to link those. The supplies might be different from where you live. I'll do my best to show you the general color tone. You'll get a general sense, so stay tuned. And it was right after this moment, which was the weekend before the renovation was gonna start, that my fiance tore 100% of his Achilles tendon. And yes, I had his consent to show this. He got his surgery and is on the road to recovery. And now on with the renovation. The first thing the contractors did was remove the countertops. I was fascinated to see how the countertops were constructed underneath. It was just different pieces of plywood boards mounted onto a frame. I actually thought it was gonna be more complicated, but it's less intimidating than I thought. Oh, and my favorite part, I got my undermount sink. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is a moment. I know it's a little weird to fangirl over a sink, but let a girl have this one. <clears throat> Anyways, after this, they removed the fluorescent light box and installed the recessed lighting. They also demolished the floor tiles and removed the rugs for the entire house. We were initially going to tackle the floors ourselves, but super glad that we outsourced it to our contractors because it was a lot of work. Because our kitchen was decommissioned, I started cooking outside with our electric cooker. Pretty legit. Can't believe I didn't think about this. You know, might as well do hot pot here. And this didn't last for too long because our backyard became the dumping ground for all the demolished waste. But today is an exciting day because they're finally installing the countertops. After they picked up the large slab of quartz, they cut it right outside our place. I'm so sorry, neighbors. We also extended the countertop material to our backsplash for a cohesive look. It took the contractors about two to three weeks to install everything. And after the contractors finished installing the countertops, recess lighting, and the flooring, it was time for us to install the rest of the cabinet doors. I'm super grateful for my sister who helped me with this process. She flew all the way from the East Coast to take care of us. And without her, I wouldn't have been able to install the cabinet door by myself. So thank you, Tiff. And it was also at this point where we found out that we reversed the order of two of the cabinets. What did you do? Oh, that's fine. It's the same thing, right? Same thing, And even though Lawrence was healing from his leg surgery, it didn't stop him from working on the drawers. Thank you for your hard work. My parents also visited me from the East Coast, and my dad actually helped me repaint my ceiling, so I really appreciate you. This has nothing to do with the renovation, but I really wanted to add this in because I started fostering kitties at this time. Look how cute they are! My goodness! Let me know if you want a video on the fostering process. Anyways, this is what our kitchen looks like after the renovation. We've made so many new memories thanks to this kitchen. It's been a popular spot connecting people together with food, music, we threw a DJ party. And sometimes it's even a spot for creating. Our kitchen has quickly become the heart of our home. And I'm excited to create many new memories with our friends and family. Okay, couple takes. Have you ever wanted to, <laughs> have you ever wanted to renovate your kitchen cabinets? Oh my God, it's gonna be so hard. Uh Thank you so much for watching and here are two videos I think you're gonna like. I'll see you over there. Bye.